<laughs> hey, I didn't even tell you the story about the time Moss uh, broke into a yuppie apartment. No. Sam, did you hear this story? Yeah, this story. Oh. This is a great fucking story. Oh. This is fucking oh. hilarious. <laughs> There was a place up on Monument Ave that, that Moss and I were looking at for a long time to break into. It, it was going to be the two of us together, but I was someplace. Where the fuck was I? Was no, no, I, I don't know where I was. Anyways, I know, I know. so uh, Moss decides to break in on his own, which, you know, Moss, like I do, was a fucking wicked bad idea. Like the time down North End, you ate a whole fucking hot pepper, one bite. Man, I, was yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a pickle. Yeah, but this is worse than that. So, anyways. Man, not this fucking story. You tell the story, I'm going to tell the one about that uh, bra was going down on the inch of puked. Who, Connie Feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'm proud of that story. Go ahead, tell Connie Feeling. Connie Feeling. This is when she was skinny. Yeah. 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 It wasn't like I took her to the fucking prom. She, she blew me and she puked. Big deal. Anyways, he, uh, he breaks in by himself. So he's in this uh. apartment. Beautiful fucking place, right? And he's looking at the place and he's admiring the books. He's saying hello to the cat, the whole thing. And now, he figures it out all the time at work because the guy works nine to five. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. First thing he does, he makes a sandwich. <laughs> right, that's what you always do when you break into a place. What was the sandwich? What was it? Ham and three cheese. Right, three cheeses. Yeah, yeah with tomato sauce. Yeah, it was uh, um, Havati. Havati and uh, blue cheese now. Uh, <laughs> blue cheese and uh, oh, Gallop and Gourmet over here. Anyways, he starts eating the sandwiches halfway through the sandwich. Now he's going to take a shit. So he goes downstairs, he's sitting on the throne, right. reading uh, some magazine. What was it, Time or Newsweek? Yeah, yeah. Current events? No, was, yeah. A good magazine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so he gets done. He goes upstairs, he finds a water bed, which he's never seen before. He's only seen him on TV, like in commercials and stuff, where he's heard about it. So here he is, getting ready to get in the water bed, and he finds right next to the water bed, what has he always wanted to find his whole life he can never find? Baseball cards. Yeah, he's worth a lot of fucking money, guys. Big photo album of full of fucking, fucking old baseball cards, oh, right? Bro. So here he is on the bed. He's jumping up and down. He's creaming in his pants, <laughs> flipping through the baseball cards. Fucking Mickey Mantle's rookie card, Tom Seaver's rookie <laughs> card, right? He's so goddamn happy. He feels he's going to be rich. He's got it made. He falls asleep. I was I could do before I broke in. I was out Yeah, that's what I like to do before I pull a job down us, you know? So anyways, four hours later, he wakes up to the sound of the key in the door. Fucking Goldilocks here. Right? I wake up and I think of my mother's house. But this guy is like staring at me. Guy in a suit. Big guy, too, right? Big and he says to me, like, uh, excuse me, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? Hey, my mother. And he's looking at me, and he picks up the phone, he starts to call the cops, and I'm like, shit, and I realize where I am, so I bolt. I'm out the door, I put dodge around that guy, bit of a dance. Leave everything behind, the by the way. The baseball cards, the TV, everything. It doesn't hey. take anything, right? So you have this guy who owns the apartment on the line with the cops, going, yeah, somebody just broke into my apartment. And the cops are going, what did he take? He looks around, a fucking nap. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Come on. Jesus fucking Christ! Everybody out! Everybody out! Oh Jesus, this is bad. Eddie.